Catherine Woods. I am a special effects makeup artist, although more recently that's transitioning into a special effects person in general. I'm the person that makes the aliens and the zombies and like cuts people's heads off. If you have a creature design, there are two main alleys that I will use usually in conjunction with each other to come up with the final idea. On the one hand, you're thinking about where this creature is from, what does it eat? what's the landscape where it species developed. So you have all of those like biological influences. On the other hand, what would help to tell the story the best? What color scheme do you want to go with? Are there any historical tie-ins with like ancient mythologies or different cultural references that you want to include in the design of this creature? And at the end of the day, you're trying to design something that is both easy to apply and fits within the amount of money that you're working with and also works well with the script and makes sense. Growing up, I loved Tim Burton's movies. I was a big Tim Burton kid. I've always been attracted to artists that don't stick to one medium, but instead explore like painting and sculpting and fabrication and costume design and set building and like all of it together, like all of the visual avenues. And that was something that just really sparked me as a kid and like made me want to explore this much more deeply. Tree bark, sinewy textures, things that are like, I don't know, like vines and those are the things that my mind understands most clearly, I suppose. I'm not really a fan of straight lines. So things that are like growing across people's faces and people's bodies appear a lot in my work. I think there is a certain amount of femininity that I bring into the creature designs that I make. I feel like a lot of the time with creature design, there's like a lot of heavy gore, a lot of incredibly grotesque monsters, and I'm totally down for that. I think that femininity, when paired with that grotesque flair, just like makes it extra creepy. I think as an artist, that's probably what I'm most attracted to, is like the space where the beautiful and the grotesque kind of overlap a little bit, and it's really pretty and attracts you somehow, but is also really off-putting and makes you feel uncomfortable. That's something both in my painting work and in my special effects prosthetic work that appears repeatedly. When I'm sculpting, and I don't know yet exactly where this thing is going, and the, the clay just kind of tells me what it wants, and I'm looking at the images that I've pulled already and the design that I have planned out, and it just draws me towards the end goal without me being truly conscious of it as it's happening. Um, yeah, that's one of my favorite parts of the process. I'm Catherine Woods, and this is Firebird Effects.